So how can we react to this? Song? I think people are trying to change the narratives. So try to upturn the truth. They want to cover the truth and leave the main issue to discuss frivolities. Uh, the truth is, and the truth remains. Let this is serious. It is not a joke. Nigerian people, including the children, are asking the same question. Lest we forget, in 2015, it was the political nightmare of Buhari, I mean, the opposition party, PDP, through their big mouth speaker, Fanny Femi Kayode, FFK, alerted Nigerians that Buhari has no certificate. Buhari has not submitted any personal particular of minimum school leaving certificate for the 2015 election. That was how it all started. But we were told that the Nigerian military is in custody of Buhari's certificate. However, the Nigerian military came forward to say otherwise. Neither the original copy, the certified true copy, that is CTC, nor the statement of result of Major General Muhammadu Buhari's West African School Certificate result is in his personal file. Hmm, Mr. Integrity. Enough, these children. Give me some break, please. Let's hear from Mr. President. I have attempted, or I have contested election three times, and there's the same rule by uh, independent Nigerian Electoral Commission, INEC. Hey, hold it. Wait, team. Which kind team be this? What did I just hear you call INEC? Uh, independent. Nigerian Electoral Commission INEC. You say independent Nigerian Electoral Commission INEC. Now who we offer for this country? Oga Mr. President. The correct meaning of INEC is Independent National Electoral Commission. Abba. Oh yeah, continue. There is a basic educational uh, qualification you have. And I was allowed to contest all these elections because my certificate was in order. And there are even individuals that wrote to the United States War College, and United States War College answered them. And it's published in some of your papers. So really, um, this desperation of disinformation uh, that is being passed around, uh, it do nobody any good because our minds uh, are being taken away from the serial issues of corruption and incompetence by the PDP. Mr. Integrity, did I hear you well? Did you just say that for three good times you have contested for the position of the president without the controversy of your certificate? Is this your justification for not submitting your certificate to INEC? Is this Oh, I'm really disappointed because we all know how these things work in Nigeria. You can agree with me, Mr. President, that people get high-profile jobs with forged certificates, even without their knowledge. Your former Minister of Finance is a good example. We all know how these things work. We all know how the corrupt Nigerian system is. This is part of the corruption that is supposed to be fought to a standstill in Nigeria, Mr. President. No. We understand that it is possible someone could maneuver himself and contest for the same position without submitting a certificate. Well, let's give you a break. You submitted an affidavit. It is over three years now. Where is your certificate? I'm beginning to believe that Really, actually, Mr. President may not have a certificate. Because these children and many Nigerians have not stopped asking you that same question. Mr. President. Oh my God, these children will not stop asking this question. Well, it is obvious. I can't stop them. It seems that the Nigerian people, including these children, will not stop asking the president 
Mr. President, where is your certificate? Well, your thought is as good as mine. If you have your submission, drop it on the column. Let's have your thoughts. If you like our video, share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video updates. Visit our website www.bvichannel1 for more news updates. I still remain Association of Peter signing out and saying, stay blessed and above all, stay safe. Goodbye.